What is up, everybody? It's your boy Dark Peach here. Um, I kind of want to talk about something a little misconception or confusion that have been going on that I've been getting a lot of heat for, and it's mostly about me being one of the top Peach players for Smash 4. Now, on my Twitch and on my Twitter. I have it stating that I am one of the best Peach players for this game. And a lot of people think that I'm being cocky or egotistic, you know, this and that. And just throwing out a lot of assumptions and just, you know, being, being, you know, being pricks. So I just want to clarify on why I had that there. First. That is how the Smash community sees me. A large first portion of the Smash community, people that know me or have heard of me, you know, whatever, they see me as one of the best. I don't go out saying that I'm the best Peach. I mean, not bad. One of the best Peaches for Smash 4. I don't go out saying that. I don't go out saying that on my stream or in tournaments. Actually, when people say how good I am, like, yo, man, your peach is mad good, this and that, I just tell them I suck. I literally tell them that I suck. And why? Um, one of the reasons is, again, I haven't done anything. I don't go to tournaments. I haven't done anything big. I don't go to tournaments and place top eight. I don't win. I don't do anything. And then a tournament, the small amount of tournaments, tournament, god damn, I can't talk today. The small amount of tournaments. Yeah, there you go. The small amount that I've been to since the Wii U version come out, I haven't done anything big at all. So, a lot of people, they just see me as fraudulent being egotistic because I stream a lot and they see me playing Peach and this time where I'll be playing really well, I'll be you know, putting on a show, and a lot of people they get in prayer, like, yo, man, you mad good, this and that, and then because of that, like, oh, well, you know what, you just stream, and people see you do a, a few tricks and that, but, you know, we don't see you do it in tournaments, so because of that, you know, people think you, you hot shit, and then you build an ego, and then blah, 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 and I'm like, dude, shut the fuck up, but... I don't go around saying that. Most of the time I'm very negative when it comes to when it comes to myself. I'm very negative. I say that I'm suck. I say that I'm stupid. I'm not really that great at the game. And there's a, a lot of things that, you know, are leading to what I say. And some people say like, yo man, you're too hard on yourself, this and that. And maybe they're right. Maybe I am hard on myself, but that's just basically how I feel. And sometimes, well, what really led to that, me thinking that way, is because some people say like, "Yo, man, you, you, you're, you're mad good, this and that," and then I start to believe it. And then there's another half. They're like, "Yo, man, you ain't shit. You know, such and such is way better than you. I'd rather watch them or play them than watch you, this and that." And it kind of feels like I'm, I'm, I'm kind of pressured because I go to a tournament and since I have like so many people talking about me, it's like, God damn, I have to, I have to play well, I have to go in. And if I lose, I'm just never going to hear the end of it. I'm going to get more heat. And then it's going to be to a point where I'm in a community where I can't even chill. I can't relax. I can't have fun because it's, I feel like I'm always at war. I'm always at people, you know, being assholes to me. So it, after you know, over the years, this and that, it just led to the point where I just don't feel like I'm as legit as the good half says, and I start to believe, you know, the negative attention of people who just want to make me feel like shit. So I, I, I pretty much how that all started, but there's a reason why I haven't like really gone to tournaments. One of the reasons is because I suffer from depression. A lot of people in the Smash community who know me know this. 
Um, for some of you probably watching, this is probably the first time you even know about this. And um, dealing with depression, that shit is rough and trying to play. Like, Mewtwo King, he, he suffers from it. Um, Dr. Peepy, he suffers from it. He made a, a post somewhere, somebody tweeted on Twitter, where he was talking about why he doesn't go to tournaments. Like, him trying to play this game, dealing with depression, blah, 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 is rough. It's really rough on him. And it's so fun when he can't play. And he's actually asking people, his friends, his mass community, if they have any advice that they can give him so he can go to tournaments and, you know, overcome this. Like, the, the shit is rough. But that's one of the reasons. Another reason is um, I'll post a video in the annotations and in the description on um, why I don't go. But yeah. And, you know, over the years, I've helped a lot of people. I've gave them advice. I've never gave up on pretty much what I believed in. When it came to Peach, a lot of people thought, you know, Peach sucks, you can't do this, this and that. And I've always, I've always fought. You know, I kept fighting. No matter all the debates, all the fights, all the insults, all the rude comments, trolling, whatever. No matter how many people were against me, I was always a one-man army. Just still, just still kept on going. I'm like, you know, I don't care what you think. I don't care what you think. I think this character can do this and that. I think this character is good. She can handle this matchup and why. I've always went in. Like, I just didn't give a damn. I never cared. And that's, you know, one of the things that people have admired about me as a, as a player. And, you know, me going on my way to help people give advice, make tutorials, even to this day. Like I said, all this originated in Brawl, and then it just kicked off with Smash 4. That's why I'm pretty much known. And in Brawl, I used to go to a lot of tournaments. So, you know, a lot of people, they, they knew about me. And I did I did well in Brawl tournaments. I even won a few, you know. So, that's where, you know, the, the fame the fame comes from like people treat me like if I'm a big time superstar player that you know wins tournaments I don't I don't really win tournaments in this game I only been to like four tournaments only been to like four and that's that's about it this game has been out for like about a year and I I've, and I've only been to like four so like the reason I'm like known or famous in the Smash community is you know because I, I helped out a lot of people. I try my best to you know give advice. I you know make tutorials on my YouTube channel. I, I pretty much just go out my way to try to help as many people as I can because I love to help people. That's the way I was raised. But sometimes it bites me in the ass. You know, because, you know, being too nice, people will take advantage of that, and they have, and it led to a point where sometimes I just become an asshole, like, I started becoming a jerk because of that, I hate being a jerk, but sometimes when somebody, you know, acts like a jerk to you, I, I just say, F it, man, I'm not gonna take that, before, I just, you know, let it slide, but when I had, people just kept on, you know, like, oh, well, I could be a jerk, and he gonna let it slide, he ain't gonna do nothing, so yeah, man, don't fuck that. So I'm like, all right, screw that too. But anyway, that's pretty much where it's come from. So, on the on the the topic, at me being one of the best peace players in the world, I don't go around saying that. I don't. I kind of don't even believe it myself. But this is all based on you know all the knowledge that I have thrown out. Whether on my stream, on my Twitch channel, I mean, my YouTube channel, and on Smash boards. And when people see me play on stream, or when they see me play at locals um, that I TO for my um, the events, like they see me play, and they they huddle around the TV like, "Yo, man, I never I never knew Peach could do that. Peach is so good. 
like Jesus Christ, why don't why don't you have the tournaments? Blah 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 blah. And um most of the time when people want me to enter and I'm like I just don't have the cash, I don't got money like that answer. And people have actually said that they will pay for me. Like yo man, you should have told me I would have paid for you to answer, man. Like it's crazy how a lot of people want to see me play. Like I'm not a superstar player, as I said before. I'm just some random dude. <laughs> I see myself as some random dude who plays for the speech, and there's just something about me for like a lot of people that is like Jesus Christ, make me feel like a superstar. So yeah, that's that. That's just to pretty much clear that up and to get that out the way. Again, I don't. I don't see myself as a very good player, and I have my reasons for that. Um, it may be me being a little too hard on myself, but that's me, you know. So I, I, I don't think I'm that great uh, until I start doing anything big in tournament, and you know the problems that I have with why I don't enter. I just see myself as some random dude who's just mediocre, not that great. Blah 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 blah, all that stuff. So for those that thought that I was, you know, egotistic and whatever, I'm even saying all this right here in the video for the whole world to see. You know, most people they they wouldn't even do that. They'd be like, all right, people say this and that about me. All right, that's true. All right then, I'ma pop my collar and I'ma keep walking with shades on my face. Fuck, you know? Nah, uh, that that's not me. Good again. That's not how I was raised. So, with that out the way, I do want to say one thing though. I want to give thanks to all the people that I've known over the years in Smash. All those that have had my back. You guys are pretty much the reason why I keep playing this game. Because there's times where it's really hard for me to play. You know, I kind of feel pressure when I go to tournaments because I have this this reputation that would build up. And it will build up because again I like to help people. I've been to a lot of tournaments for like Brawl, I've done done well. And um Smash 4, I've showcased all the stuff that you know a lot of things that Peach can do and help people out, make tutorial videos, I give advice on my stream, this and that. And my reputation has is bigger than what I have imagined, which is I still find it shocking to this day. How how so much know me and you know the reactions that I get. Like when I go to people's streams, I go to a lot of people's streams that you know they get four, three, six, seven views. A lot of people they don't pay attention to they pay attention to the to the big streamers, the one that got the the double and triple digits. You know. I I ran I go into these people's streams and they they sh actually get excited that I showed up. When I show up, they're like, oh my god, Dark Peach! Oh my god, I can't believe it's you. Yo, thanks for tuning into my stream. Like, it, it, it's an honor. It, it's, I, I can't believe it, man. And people get so happy. Like, they show me so much respect. Just for me popping up on this stream. Like, I, I've never seen these people. I've never heard of them before. But when I go to their streams a lot, like, they get super excited that I'm there. And sometimes, we, you know, we exchange matches. I'm just there chilling and they're just really happy that I tune into the stream and then when I give them follow they get really hyped like, I appreciate you you know follow me tune into the stream stopping by man it's is it, it, it's a nice feeling man like I, I can't explain it but the fact that I can go onto somebody's stream just chill there and make their day like it, it it makes me feel nice and that's like respect to the third degree it, it, it's freaking ridiculous so like the reputation that i've had over the years is pretty much all thanks to you know the, the people that have supported me you know when shit got rough but i just want to quit 
I, I just couldn't take it anymore, especially with this depression here. You know, you, you guys have just always come out and been like, yo, bruh, like, bruh, don't, don't even worry about it, bro, we got you, fuck them. Like, don't even worry about them, yo, like, we, we got you, man. You guys always made me, like, come back after I just wanted to quit or just put the game through, so I'm like, I don't want to do this no more. It's not fun. I, I feel like I'm being pressured. There's a lot of stress for me trying to play a freaking video game. Stress playing a video game. That's crazy. But that shit does happen. Again, ask me to King, ask Dr. PB. They'll fucking tell you. This shit is real out here. This shit is a joke. <laughs> but, yeah, you guys have really made me want to keep going. And, yeah. Thanks for all those that have sent feedback. Like, I got a feedback from, like, all over the world. Like, people from other countries. They just come to me, send me messages on Twitter and Smashboards where they appreciate, you know, the, the tips and stuff. You know, just friendly things. Or they come to me from all over and they just ask for advice and, you know, I give it to them. That's why, um... I'm pretty much called, you know, Uncle Peach as one of my tags. I mean, one of my titles. Be you know, since Brawl, I've always been helping people. And throughout the Peach community, around Smashboards, you know, the, the title kind of regenerated Uncle Peach, man. I'm out there to help the kids, you know. And then the Peach Messiah, that that kind of, the, the story behind that is kind of the same thing with, you know, Uncle Peach, me helping out people and whatnot, but it, it kind of like started off as a joke, but I guess, you know, it just started catching on, so I call myself Peach Messiah, which is basically, it, it kind of feel like I give people life, I make them want to keep playing, I have people, they come to me like, they don't know what to do with the character, they're lost, they're like, damn, this shit is hard, and I'm like, alright bro, I got you, I got you right now, then I tell them what to do, how to step their game up, and I refer them to videos, and Give them as much advice as they want, you know, as long as it takes, you know, for them to get to that level. And when I do, it's helped them out a lot. They give me good feedback. Like, yo, man, thanks for the help, blah, blah, blah. So that's where, you know, that kind of generated. So I'm just explaining that one out the way. So all the people won't think because of these two titles, they think um, I'm being egotistic as well. But either way, after this video, people probably still going to assume shit. That's life, man, you know. But it's whatever. Those people are not important. What is important is, um, you know, you guys, the ones I'm talking about that appreciate and have always had my back. And I just want to say, like, thanks. Like, I, I don't, I don't come out saying this a lot, <laughs> but I, I just want to say things like you guys really make me feel like a superstar in the Smash community. For someone, for some random dude that just freaking plays Peach and doesn't really do anything big in tournament, you guys make me feel like I'm the best freaking player in the world, which is crazy. So I kind of just, I just want to go out there and, you know, say that. And uh, I think that's about it to, to cover this up. If there's anything else, I'll, I'll um, try to make another video, talk about something else. Decided to make more vlogs, because I made a vlog before, and some people said it was interesting, they enjoyed it, so, I'm like, eh, I'll, I'll make some more. So yeah, once again, thank, thanks a lot for uh, all the support over the years. If it wasn't for you guys, I probably wouldn't even be in this fast stream, just though. Like, I joined, but I probably would have exited, like, probably five, six years ago, you know. But I'm still here because, you know, uh, the supporters, the people that have my back, the fans. I might as well call, call you guys fans. Like, I, I do legit, legitimately have fans, which, again, it, it's crazy. It, it's freaking it's freaking ridiculous. You guys make me feel like, y'all make me feel like a, like a god. Like, y'all really make me feel like the peace messiah. <laughs> Like, yeah, I really do make me feel like the Pete Messiah. It's crazy. Uh, yeah, so thanks for, you know, all the, all the kind messages that I get on a daily basis. Um, the kind words, the support, all that stuff. 
And um, with that said, thank you all for tuning into the video. And I will see you guys next time. Until then, enjoy the rest of your day. Peace off.